All right, this time it's my turn to count. Hello guys, welcome to Scouts Journey. My name is Manuel and I'm back with another video. And today I am happy to announce that I'm gonna be collaborating with Xavier Arts, an amazing YouTuber, okay? Very funny guy. Definitely go check out the collaboration with it on his channel, okay? We had a very interesting conversation, okay? We we talked for almost three hours, all right? I'm not even I'm not even exaggerating. If we were to make like a two-part series of of this collaboration we'd have more than enough content to spare and we both pretty much ask each other very silly questions to be honest hopefully we can do this again sometime in the future but i had an amazing time with him and i really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoy it as well so what we both decided to do was we both challenged ourselves to paint a landscape you know digitally since both of us don't have a lot of practice with it i actually like the way that mine turned out okay definitely go check out how his turned out okay uh, i will leave the link of his part of the collaboration in the description okay as well as you know his channel and everything we both decided to make a landscape okay and while we were making the landscape we thought that you know we, we would record our conversation while we were speed painting okay hopefully you guys enjoy it and basically yeah i pretty much made this video like 30 minutes long uh, i I'm, I'm telling you it's worth it okay there was so much content that i had to cut out a lot okay and the video is still pretty long you definitely watch the whole thing okay so what you have to do now is just sit back relax and enjoy the conversation. So, I'm gonna leave you guys with the video. Let's get started. So, the first one is, would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? Oh my God. <laughs> would I rather be the last human left on Earth or dead? Yeah. The last human on Earth for sure, no question. Yeah, why? Because I, I love torture and I'd always be searching for someone and I'd never find them. Okay. And that would be the worst experience of my entire life. And you're gonna and, lose your mind. Yeah, I'd lose my mind. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'll probably say the same thing. Oh, really? Yeah, it'll be fun, right? It would be the world's last collab. Or we could just do countless collabs together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'd show like the little rabbits and stuff, our collabs <laughs> that we would make. Yeah. We have no human audience, but we don't <laughs> need humans. True. <laughs> All right, so while we're recording this, we had some trouble kind of communicating, okay? So sometimes I would sound like a robot, sometimes he would sound like a robot. So it was this like a really funny part. I just thought I'd put it in because it was really funny. Dude, all I'm getting is R2-D2 sounds. I can't even hear any words. Uh, I'm gonna do an impression of what I'm hearing, <laughs> okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing, but it's all electronic. <laughs> It sounds it really like that bad. Like, <laughs> what? Shoot. Oh, I heard the word bad. What? Okay. Would you rather eat Chinese food all the time or Mexican food all the time? Oh God. Well, see, that depends, <laughs> and it depends on <laughs> we whether have, you we have to do one. Okay. 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 Are we talking fast food or authentic, healthy food? Uh, I'll, I'll say because they're very different. They have I know, extremely I know. different because effects Chinese, on your body. Chinese, exactly. Chinese food is more like the, not the takeout ones, but the, you know, the natural ones are very nutritious uh -huh. and stuff like that. But takeout, I don't know because I don't really eat Chinese takeout. So I, I wouldn't know. But uh, I'll probably say the takeout ones, like, you know, the, uh, yeah. Yeah, the takeout, fast food ones. <laughs> Which one would it be? Man, for me, dude, the fast food on both of them is just, it's just like you gotta do you gotta do one, like you gotta do it one day and then give yourself a few days to recover, <laughs> cause it's like, <laughs> cause if you get like the really like the food where it's basically just a hundred percent taste and everything else is wrecking your body, then you gotta kind of anyway. If it was if it was authentic food, it would be Chinese because. I feel like there's so many uh, yeah. medicinal uh, meals. Exactly, yeah. Right? Yeah, if it had to be takeout, it would still be Chinese just because it tastes good. I don't know. Yeah. I just, okay. I like noodles, man. <laughs> you don't like tacos? Dude, I love everything. <laughs> yeah, I love tacos too, <laughs> man. That's a hard right. one. Yeah, Chinese. But it hurts my soul. Yeah. To... I'll choose Chinese because, because my mom's Chinese, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> it, you know what? And it Chinese hurts my better. soul to think. It, it hurts worse to think of living in a world without either Chinese or Mexican food. It hurts mm -hmm. more 
thinking about that than being the last person on Earth. Really? <laughs> Do you really like fast food that much? <laughs> well, I guess if I was the last person on Earth, I wouldn't be able to have that anyway. But... You could. I mean, everything else is still there. Nothing is. Yeah, and there's so many preservatives that'll last for years, so you don't have to worry about yeah. the chefs dying. Exactly. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> okay, would you rather be attractive and poor or ugly and rich? Hmm, I'd rather be ugly and rich because at least I'd have money. Okay. Now I'm ugly and poor. <laughs> <laughs> I can deal with the ugly part, man. I need some money. I mean, beauty, you can't buy that. True, right? but at so, the same time, if you get the right person, personality will count for everything. Okay, okay, I see where you're going. Okay. Or you could just that say sense. that you're beautiful just the way you are. <laughs> what about you? I'd probably say attractive and poor. Oh, interesting. Because you can't buy, you know, being handsome. Well, think of how, think of how many celebrities are known for being ugly, but they're so successful and people still have like a fetish for them. True, true. Like Ed Sheeran, right? Yes! He's so ugly. He looks like a monkey zombie. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something about like the way that he uh, talks, the way that he sings, the way that he yeah. acts. It, it's attractive about him, right? You're exactly. You're attracted to his presence, not necessarily his looks. Do you know that he just got engaged? Oh man! Like, I mean, like a day ago or something. I mean, I'm so happy for him. <laughs> Is it a guy or a girl? Do you really think it's a guy? Did you think Ed Sheeran was gay? Yeah, I think he's a guy. Ed Sheeran is not gay. What? Did you really think he was gay? You're lying. Oh man, there goes all my hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather be Ed Sheeran. Now that I think about it, maybe me too. But, I mean, money corrupts people. I mean, if you're poor, then you can be humble, right? You can, I don't know. Money is like the worst enemy. True, but by that logic, you and I should never make money. <laughs> we should give up on No, it. but I mean, we're, we're not making much money. It's oh, not yeah. to the point where it corrupts you, right? So. Oh um, yeah, that's true, but, that's true. Do you prefer DC or Marvel? Marvel, 100%. Marvel, yeah, me too. Really? Have you watched Wonder Woman? I haven't. <laughs> And I'm not sad about it. Well, is it good? Well, if <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no. Well, for me, for me, I think the movie was so bad. I didn't like it at all. Like, it was so terrible. Wow. That's what I think. I mean, there are a lot of people that think that Wonder Woman was like super good, and oh my god, they like it so much. But I like if you're looking at it from being a good movie, right? Not being a fan person. Uh, I don't think it's a good movie, to be honest. Wow. I think Marvel, Marvel and DC fans. Oh, sorry, sorry, I interrupted you. What were you saying? No, I just, I just said Marvel movies are, are the best. I saw a little cartoon thing online that illustrated how Marvel and DC fans see each other. DC fans yeah. saw Marvel as like little cartoon kid chibi characters, like all cartoony and childish. Okay. And Marvel fans saw okay. DC as like these old guys running around on bikes and terrible cosplay. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah, it's like Marvel is really childish, and then DC is just a bunch of, like, people trying to be adults, running around in <laughs> yeah. costumes, like, trying yeah, yeah. trying to be edgy. But how is Marvel childish? Well, if you think about it, it's... Well, DC is a lot darker than Marvel. True. Marvel is okay. a, a lot more, in my opinion, about, like, brighter colors, um, more humor. Okay. And just that right there, I think, would bump up the childness factor. But in my opinion, just making something darker and edgier doesn't necessarily make it cooler, you know? Like, just because you okay. put on yeah. black lipstick yeah. and wear black yeah, doesn't clothes mean cool. doesn't mean you're cool and edgy. Whereas, you could, your soul could be black, <laughs> and you could wear, like, rainbow clothes, and you would be the edgiest person in the world. Yeah, it's what's inside that counts. It's what's that on outside. the inside that counts, especially if your soul is black. <laughs> Did you, did you watch the trailer of uh, Infinity War? Uh, Are you hyped for the movie? See, this is one of those things where I feel like I have, but I don't remember any of it. <laughs> I am telling you, man, big things. Sometimes they just completely slip my mind, so I get to re-experience the joys in life twice sometimes. sometimes Are you kidding? Is, is it like a medical condition or something? It might be, I don't know. You should probably go to the doctor. <laughs> Maybe it is. Sometimes I forget that I have a child. I'm like, oh, hey, he's sitting there. Oh, Hi, yeah. kiddo. How old are you now? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding about that one. You ever just forget how to breathe? No, no, never. <laughs> if, you're, if you forget how to breathe, I think that's a serious issue. Sometimes I forget I'm right-handed. I just keep drawing with my left hand, and I'm like, why am I drawing so bad? Oh yeah, I should use my right hand. Like, why does it feel so awkward to write? Oh yeah, I'm right-handed. 
Like, why do my eyes water so much? Oh yeah, I need to blink. Well, I haven't seen anybody that has that serious of a condition before. I am totally kidding about that. I know. For Gideon, the Infinity Wars trailer should should probably be diagnosed as a medical condition. It's pretty serious. Oh, okay, so okay, so you, you weren't kidding about that? No, I wasn't kidding about that. I, I seriously don't remember. Okay. I feel like I did watch it, but I don't remember it. Wow. Actually, wow. in fact, I know that I did watch it, and there was something cool that I was excited about, but I don't even remember. It was Spider-Man, Iron Spidey. Oh yeah, Probably. that's right. Thank you. Oh man, thank you. Now I'm so excited all over again. Man, that's cool. And they <laughs> teased it at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming too. Yeah, they did. They showed the, uh, the suit, but he didn't wear it. Right. Uh, did you like Homecoming? Homecoming movie? Oh, I loved it so much. So much. Better Tom than the original one. Well, okay, so here's the thing. Sam, Sam Raimi's uh, Spider-Man 1 is a classic that will never ever be outdone. Um, yeah, never. But <laughs> yes, it is amazing. Yes, but Homecoming is amazing. Better in all ways, except for the fact that it wasn't the original. But it's as good as it could have been. And Tom Holland. There's Tom Holland. Yeah, it, brought it was good. It, it was home good. with that one. Ah, brought it home. Homecoming. <laughs> Bazinga. Got him. Kachow. <laughs> Well, one thing I, that I didn't like about the, uh, the new Spider-Man is the way that the spider web is uh, mechanical or, you know, it's, oh, it, yeah. it's made up. It, it's not, it doesn't come from your hand. It's, it's something, you know, a machine that brings it out. And I don't like that. But it is faithful to the comics when you do it that way. True. But it's kind of limiting the character a little bit. Right. But then you can have like the shock webs and stuff. True. And like true. the 300,000 okay. yeah. web patterns okay. that he did have. Yeah, you gotta say the positive things. <laughs> but yes, I was very disappointed to learn that, because um, I, I grew up, I was really young when the first Spider Man movie came out. So like yeah. that was where I was introduced to Spider Man. It wasn't. The when comics. was it? I, was it 2001? Something, Something like, like that. that. Yeah, I was like six yeah, or something. I think I was two, two years old. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I grew up thinking that it was in his hand the whole time. I was very disappointed the first time I learned that in the comics it was mechanical. Well, Spider-Man and you know, Amazing Spider-Man are not the same thing. They're different. In the original one, you can make spiderweb out of your your hands, but in the Amazing, you know, it, it's mechanical. Oh really? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Now I do. <laughs> do you like sports? Mm, yeah. Well. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the sport, but yeah, I like sports. What kind of sport? Um, to watch, probably, I don't know. Football's no, okay. No, not watch, to do. Oh, to, to do. do. Uh, yeah. Wrestling is my favorite sport. Like WWE? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if they have high school wrestling in Spain, but um, in the U.S. No, they don't. Oh, okay. They well, don't. in the U.S. and uh, some other countries, there's um, there's a sport called wrestling, which is basically it's like fighting with no punch. It's like UFC with no punching and no. Yeah, I, I know, I know, okay. I know it. I mean, they do show it in, in movies and stuff, so yeah, uh, I know. Well, although they wear kind I have of a, to a silly a silly helmet or something like that. Yeah, they wear a silly and, helmet. And on, exactly. And, and a tight tight thing. Mm. Yeah, a tight, a tight okay. little gay leotard. Yeah, that's what we. Yeah. Were. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> yeah, I have I know, to say, in it. movies, it as a wrestler, it is very misrepresented. Represented. Okay. <laughs> represented. Yeah, I it get it. It is very I get misrepresented it. in movies <laughs> and other media. Okay. They make it seem so dorky, but dude. Yeah. Wrestling's awesome, man. Okay, would you rather have to kill the animal for any meat you eat or never eat meat again? Never eat meat again. See, here's the thing. I love meat, but <laughs> I like... Would you kill for it? As days go by, I want to become a vegan more and more and more. Hmm. Why? Because of the the way they treat animals or... Most, yeah, mostly it's it's um, it's the way that they process meat. Well, not it's one okay. one the ways that they kill the animals. Two, uh, some of the unhealthy practices in processing the meat itself. Hmm. Um, True. And three, because uh, just the fact that you know it's I mean an animal's life. If you were, I mean the the question is 
would you rather eat it like kill it and then eat it so it's not processed or anything right 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 right, right, right. but yeah you choose never eat meat again yeah because i think i'm gonna do that one day anyway <laughs> okay i'll probably kill <laughs> i don't <laughs> i don't mind i don't i don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah i mean we do eat meat anyway so why not just get your hands dirty a little bit i mean i mean at the end of the day we're animals who like once we have a taste of meat we like go crazy for it so i mean there's hmm. there's a biological component to it so i think it's fine i mean it's like it's like it's like if you could if you could give a leopard a vegan diet and he would be fine it's like yeah that's cool but leopards <laughs> like if they taste blood they're gonna want to eat some like if they <laughs> eat your finger they're gonna want to eat your whole body just saying <laughs> Okay, would you rather have your pee smell like McDonald's french fries <laughs> or <laughs> or your poo smell like Burger King Whopper? <laughs> well, I don't know, because maybe I'd want to have my pee smell like french fries because it's not natural to drink french fries. Because if my poop smelled hmm. like, like Burger King food, then I would just... Like, I don't know what would stop me from reaching in the toilet and trying it. It's the smell, not the... You know. Oh, well, I know. Eating it like. I know, but. So. I know, but come on. If your poop smelled like <laughs> a burger, you'd have to take a bite. <laughs> um. Well, I think. You can't tell me that you think, wouldn't like, take naturally... a bite of your poop if it smelled like a burger. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Maybe. I mean, I've never had it <laughs> smell like a burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you burger know? Burger before. <laughs> So I wouldn't know how to react, so I wouldn't know, so... I'd have uh, my pee smell like french fries, because it would probably be very unhealthy yeah. for me to eat my poop. I'll probably say the poo smell like burgers, because I, I think poo smells way, way stronger than <laughs> than pee. Right. So if I, if I could cover that smell, I'll pro it's, uh, yeah, I'll probably pick poo. <laughs> True, and you have to poop less so, often than you pee. Yeah. And it's always I mean, gross when you, you're peeing. Sometimes smells. you would even you would even want to poo because you know it smells so good, right? Yeah, it's like having a Burger King exactly. scented candle in the bathroom. Exactly. Oh. And when your your tummy is you know it's tingling, you'll be like, ooh, I gotta poo. Well, does that mean that your farts will smell like burgers? Because if that's Probably. true, Probably. if that is true, then hey, I'll pick the poopy one. Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead? Hmm. That's a really good question. <laughs> Both are incredible shows that are incredibly yeah. addicting. Both have amazing <laughs> acting, amazing characters, amazing storylines and both of them i have not watched a second no. <laughs> so i have no idea <laughs> you were talking as if you, you already knew everything about it <laughs> i haven't watched not even you haven't part watched of an any episode. of it really not even part of an episode no wow well you have to okay you have to you have to i think game of thrones is like the best show ever really in my opinion game of thrones is so good the writer is is such a genius like, I, I recommend that you watch it. Like, Game of Thrones, at least watch that. Okay. Maybe I should watch it with somebody who appreciates it and wants to wants to see my reactions. Well, true, true. Oh, I wish I could watch it with you. <laughs> the, yeah, you'd be like, uh, you'd be like, I, you'd have to like tape your mouth shut so that you don't give me any spoilers because I bet you'd yeah, be at the yeah. edge of your seat sure. like, oh my god, oh my god. You don't even know. This guy's saying that thing, but he doesn't know that he's going to die and <laughs> this guy's going to do this thing to him and this character's going to completely change and in season two, he's going to be a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. What? You're, get, you're getting yeah, up yeah. to go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, don't pause it. No, I'm going <laughs> to pause it. You yeah, need to watch this issue. next part. Why is it uh, important? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> These are fun. Would you rather be deaf or blind? Deaf or blind? I'd rather be deaf mm. for sure. Yeah, me too. <laughs> because blind, I mean, you wouldn't be able to see anything. I, mean, I think that's the most uncomfortable feeling ever, not to be able to see anything. Right. I mean, hearing, you could, technically there could be some kind of machines or something like that that can you know, make you hear or something like that. There's a guy that's developed but his I mean, own version of echolocation. I mean, if you were blind or if you were blind or deaf, you'd, you'd probably be, you'd get used to it eventually, to be honest. The fact is, Did I can still that, draw if I'm deaf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Did you know that um, there's this person that, you know, was blind, like, pretty much almost all his life, and then, you know, all of a sudden, 
the person started to see again and the change was so much that the person just wanted to die like it was so different because the way that you you locate things you know seeing mm -hmm. and when you're blind they're totally different i mean you you see what you're where you're going and stuff like that but when you're blind you have to like touch stuff and you know to to kind of calculate um the distance between each thing and stuff so the difference is really much so when the person kind of started seeing again it it kind of the change was so much that the person just wanted to to die to be honest wow. because the, it just he just couldn't just couldn't handle it I mean, a, a normal person would think that, you know, the person can see now and you know, wow, it's, the person should be super happy. Yeah. But the person was was actually kind of, he, he didn't like the, the change. Just complete sensory overload, I guess. Exactly, exactly. Wow, it's incredible. That's something you wouldn't normally think of until something like that yeah. happens. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's a fun fact. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that's a very fun Just fact. Just so you know. Who's your favorite YouTuber? You are, my friend. Really? Yeah. Okay, next question. Jake Paul or Logan Paul? Kill them both. I mean, uh... <laughs> God, you gotta admire both of them for the hard work and, and good they bring to this world. Yes. They're, honestly, exactly. they're just too they're good so, for this world. They're such good people. Exactly. They're, In the most yeah, literal they're way. They're positivity. Yep. And, you know, they're they're teaching their, their little kids' audience to, you know... They're teaching us stuff. how to dab on the haters. Exactly. Teaching know. us how to be lit. Teaching us the swaggy ways of the future. I'd have to say both. I don't think I could choose. I, just, I love them both huh. so much. They could be my best friends. Both of them, to be honest. You want to know a fun okay. fact? What? Um, one of the um, channel people who represent... Uh, Jake Paul emailed me and wanted me to join their network. And wait, uh, what? Yeah, and okay. they used the Team Ten. Yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay. They wanted me to join. They the, emailed you. Yeah, not not to join Team Ten. Wow. Just the YouTube network. Oh. But one of their okay. selling points was that they oh, represent Jake Paul and the other Team Ten people. And <laughs> I was I was like I thought you know if you didn't if you didn't say Jake Paul's name or Team 10, you would probably have such a better chance at having people respond to your emails. Now, I didn't say anything, I just deleted it. Huh. Not that I would join a network huh. anyway, okay. but I'm saying the fact that they used Jake Paul as their selling point is like, well, if you're associated with Jake Paul, I'm yeah. definitely gonna delete your email. I think I would, I think I would do the same thing. Well I, I, well, I don't know what I would do because I haven't gotten it, but... Or just reply back the middle finger emoji. <laughs> I mean, who could be proud of having Logan Paul as a, you know... Well, I don't know. To represent them or... Some people would be. Uh, but what if you were to choose? I know they're both terrible. Let's just, let's just say one. Well, see, here's the, here's the thing. They both... One of them messes up and then the other person is the good one. Then that person messes up, and then this person is a good one. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, exactly. I, know. I guess it's Jake I Paul's know. turn to be the good one. So I guess I have to pick Jake Paul now. I think I'd choose Jake I'll Paul probably, because I'll probably say Logan Paul. I'd choose Jake because I could just. I feel like I could just run him over in every every aspect of my life. <laughs> okay, if you weren't an artist, in what other field would you get into? Mm. I don't know. You know those people who run the machines that um, have the little baby chickens, the little chicks that are on the conveyor belt, and then they all get ground up into chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'd want to be the one pushing the button to do that. I think that would okay. be cool. Yeah, that's like, a, that's like a highly sought after career choice, uh, isn't it? Uh, okay, okay. I was thinking more. Isn't it? No, it's, I don't think so, no, no. <laughs> what about, well, what would you want to do then? Another field, I would probably pick like, Cinematography, like other things that are that you're passionate about, right? Oh well, that's boring. You can make like beautiful movies and stuff with that. No, 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 no. Pick something exciting, like pushing a button and killing a bunch of baby chicks. Okay. Cinematography, okay. huh? So you would want to be the one operating the camera? Yeah, uh, I like the world of cinematography. I like you know, photography. I like acting. I like you know all this editing, all the stuff. I do like a lot. That kind of thing. So, mm. if I weren't to be drawing, I'd, I'd probably pick that as a. If I weren't passion. to be drawing, I would. If I weren't to be drawing, I would probably want to do something uh, entertainment-wise as well in the entertainment okay. industry somewhere. I don't know where I would be, but I'd be somewhere. Okay. 
yeah, which artists inspired you the most? I think this one would pretty much cover it in your, uh, your yeah, video. Yeah, we talked about this in our yeah. video. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely 100% Mark <laughs> Crilly, and then Jazza is a close second. But yeah, hmm. Mark Crilly is the OG senpai for sure. Okay. Why'd you start your YouTube channel? <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, I just... I love watching drawing videos on YouTube and I don't know, there was something that I was looking for. I didn't know what it was, I couldn't find it, so I just started making the type of videos that I wanted to watch. Huh. So that's I, I think do. I'm exactly the same. I think it's exactly the same. Oh, well, one of the reasons why I started my YouTube channel as well. Uh, yeah, there are definitely many reasons. One of one of them was to you know stay consistent in drawing. Uh, that's something we covered in um, your video. And yeah, to pretty much make videos that you know people want to watch and Make tutorials of things that other people that other other people wouldn't cover, you know, in their tutorials. You know, like try to be gotcha. more helpful in a sense. Okay, I don't know. Okay, like so you and I kind of both created our channels to help. Others. Yeah, exactly. the The goal is to pretty much help others. I was also the kind of person that you know watched tutorials on YouTube and stuff. Uh, I mean, I think everybody started like that, you know, just watching tutorials on YouTube. And then it got to a point where, you know, I'm just like, ugh, I'm tired of watching tutorials. I, I want to start making tutorials, you know, that that kind of a feeling. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why I, I started my own YouTube channel. Yeah, I think I'd have to say the same thing. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite anime? This Okay, this is my number one favorite. Kill La Kill. Sounds very familiar. I don't know. I don't think I've watched it. Studio Trigger has a very unique uh, style. They're like, I hate animes where it's all stiff and stuff uh -huh. like those stupid slice of yeah, life yeah. ones not that slice of life is bad they just usually have stiff animation mm -hmm. um no studio trigger is like way over the top and it's amazingly animated it's awesome hmm. yeah kill la kill is awesome okay how do you stay motivated Pro i don't know the hate comments that i get on my channel are a big reason why <laughs> i keep doing it Okay. To be honest so, with you. <laughs> so hate comments motivates you. So, okay. That's a first for me. I've never... <laughs> for me, it's I, the total I opposite. Like, I like hate... I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I like hate comments yeah. a lot. Okay. Like, I laugh so hard when I see... I, I, I kind of... Like, I scroll down. I yeah, yeah. For I understand. I understand. Um, I don't know. I think I like the process of making videos. Okay. So I enjoy filming and I enjoy editing and stuff. And okay. And just upload it. Okay. But if... If I were to get zero views, I would still enjoy making videos. Hmm. So that's, I guess that's. Okay, so you basically like me. making videos. It's, I mean, it's fun. So. Yeah, I love making okay. videos. Yeah, I think uh, I I do enjoy making videos too. because it, I mean it's fun, right? It's fun to make videos and upload them to YouTube, and then see the feedback, and you know, it's just fun, you know, right? So you're already doing way more than I did at 18. <laughs> you know how many subscribers I had at 18? <laughs> did you even start a YouTube channel then? <laughs> no, not even close. <laughs> 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 so you're already doing way better than me. Well, I, I think you're well, well, you're different, right? And you you make different videos, and I think that's pretty much one of the reasons people subscribe to you is because you don't do things that other people would do, right? And yeah, I think yeah, you're definitely go subscribe to, <laughs> to Xavier Art is a is a really oh cool. oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah everybody come on over here watch my <laughs> video. <laughs> so, well, yeah, you're you're really cool, really cool artist um, and YouTuber. Honestly, it means a lot coming from you, coming from another amazing artist. Yeah, so thank you, I appreciate no, it. No problem. I always tell people that my art is terrible and everybody else tells me it's not, so. Okay, so yeah, thanks so much for, for collabing with Dude, me. Dude, thank you, man. Uh, really meant, meant a lot to me. Dude, thank you, I, um, I thoroughly enjoyed this little <laughs> weird ass conversation. <laughs> me too. Well, thank you very much. I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I'm so happy that we <laughs> we have finally got it to work. And yeah, definitely go check out the video that that we did on on his channel. Okay, if you're coming from there, you know that. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we did this.